Now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with meteorologist Juan Acuna. Hi everyone, welcome back and a very good Monday afternoon to you. Hopefully you had a great weekend. We start off with our Nissan Automotive 6 weather bug off in Kingsville. You notice we started off with some clouds and they began to thin out a little bit more as the time went on and we're looking at mainly sunny skies now. Same picture over on our Mike Shaw Kia 6 weather bug over on SPID and Nile. Started off with the cloud coverage. Right now temperatures are into the upper 60s and then we had the sunshine peak out and we have a little bit of some of those high clouds left so that is going to lead to another spectacular sunset for us here as we head on into the next couple of hours. So what's ahead? We will look for some patchy fog for tonight as the uh, humidity and the dew points are on the rise this evening. And we will look for a passing coastal shower as we go on into tomorrow as we get that return flow off the Gulf of Mexico. Most of us are going to stay dry though. We will look for a Pacific front that's going to arrive on Thursday and that's going to bring in some drier air back to the coastal bend but it's also going to bring, uh, bring plenty of wind as well. We're going to see those winds sustain around 15 to 25 miles an hour and gusting close to 30 to 35, even pushing 40 at times. Nothing like last Thursday, but nonetheless, we are going to see another round of some wind moving through the region. We're into the upper 60s right now, but lower 70s out in George West, Beeville, 71 out in Orange Grove, 70 in Kingsville. Even our water temperature out at the Packery Channel is holding on to the lower 60s at this point. Winds are not too bad. They've been relatively light. That's going to continue tonight. Going on into the next couple of days as well, we have an east-southeasterly wind 5 to 10 miles an hour with the dew points climbing back into the upper 50s to lower 60s near the coast. And these are substantially higher than what they were yesterday. Look at these numbers, anywhere 10, 10 to 24. So those are really, really high. Just an indication of all the moisture that is headed back to the region. And again, that's going to lead to some patchy fog overnight. Evening forecast calls for temperatures to be into the middle 50s with easterly winds around six miles an hour headed to about 10 o'clock tonight. So we will look for the overnight lows to not be quite as cool. I think most of us are going to stay into the 50s. Uh, don't pay attention to that map going into the 40s. I think it's a little too cool, but nonetheless, the satellite radar composite is showing cloud coverage escaping us off into the Gulf of Mexico. A little bit of cloud coverage holding on near Baffin Bay. Other than that, that's about it. There's still plenty more that's going to be off to the west and southwest of us. Those will eventually make their way back into the region overnight tonight. A couple of disturbances up in North Texas causing some shower activity there, keeping temperatures a little bit cooler as well. But this is all part of an upper level storm system that will eventually push off to the northeast over the next couple of days. And eventually we're going to get into some really good sunshine. There is a trailing Pacific front that's going to arrive on Thursday. We have one exiting storm system off to the east and another one approaching off into the Pacific Northwest as well with high pressure and control. Here's the first upper level storm system and the other one behind it. This is what's going to cause the uh, Pacific front off near California to dive on down and that's what's going to be increasing our winds as well. So you can see kind of that counterclockwise turn here. We're into the dry air now. Most of the uh, moisture associated with this is already off into the Gulf of Mexico at this point. So let's go ahead and track it for you as we go into tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow not looking bad at all. We will have a high pressure off in the Gulf. So again, this is going to get return flow off of the Gulf of Mexico. Then this uh, storm system is going to start to dig in on Wednesday. We'll look for mainly sunny skies here and then it'll dig even further as we go into Thursday. And that's our next wind machine for us here. And again, we'll look for those sustained winds around 15 to 25 gusting to 30 to 35. Friday looks spectacular. We have high pressure that'll be in place and then return moisture will start to come in with another low pressure system off to the west of us here. So with that increased wind, we will look for critical fire weather on Thursday. Thursday, critical near the coastline, elevated inland, so outdoor burning is not going to be recommended. So quick look at the winds. We will remain light for tonight and going on into tomorrow afternoon, we'll pick up those winds only going about 6 to 12 miles an hour. NEC Co-op Energy 7 day forecast 71 tomorrow, 76 on Wednesday, more mild. Then the front comes in, we get some drier air, windy conditions. The first day of winter, we're down into the lower 40s. That'll be nice, but mild again as we go on into Christmas Eve with the high of 75. Paula.